Hi, I'm Lori, and I'm here today to talk to you about a book that I'm reading called The Quest for Meekness and Quietness of Spirit. It's written by Matthew Henry. Matthew Henry was a theologian, a pastor, a counselor during the 1700s. He affected many of his age and still of our age today. In fact, there was one man in particular, you might recognize the name George Whitfield, who was very instrumental in uniting the colonies long before our war for independence. If you go to the University of Pennsylvania, you'll see a statue of George Whitfield, who is a Bible in his hand as he preaches, and at his feet are the commentaries of Matthew Henry. So he found that Matthew Henry was a very strong spiritual leader and that he understood the fact that the Christian faith gives you a virtue of soul that can help you through any circumstance of life. That meekness of spirit will help you calm in, be calm during the times that the world is crashing down around you. It'll help you understand the circumstances that you're in that particular moment and the consequences of your actions. It'll help you curb your tongue. How many of us need that? I know I do. And uh, as I'm reading this book, there is a law of meekness. It talks about, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, which, give him a drink, which is an act of charity. And not only give him that drink, but drink with him. Drink with him as a token of friendship and true love and reconciliation. Aren't we trying to do that today, to drink with our sisters and our brothers as we try to reconcile and try to move through our life and encourage one another in Christian love and faith? And... Uh, it is a true courage. Meekness is not weakness. It is a courage and a presence of mind that enables us to suffer rather than sin. It chooses affliction rather than iniquity. Passes by an affront where we lose rather than engage in a sinful quarrel. So I hope this uh, book would be a, a help to you as it has been to me and to my friends who are reading it as we commonly go together in that quest for a meekness and quietness of spirit that can affect the world around us in more ways than we can possibly understand. Thank you for joining me today. You have a blessed day.